Both of them? I don't know. Ugh. Good day, once again. Mm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The television. Weather, beautiful sunny, uh, fortune, good humor, queen of sauce, pumpkin pie. In my house, it's a tradition to eat pumpkin pie during the feast of winter star. The season just isn't complete without that wonderful flavor. You can only achieve with the finest farm fresh pumpkin. How are you proposing to get farm fresh pumpkins during the winter? A little nutmeg cinnamon and clove will sweep you off to a land of crimson and gold. You've learned how to cook pumpkin pie. <laughs> Dear Aaron, thanks for stopping by my sunburners today. I usually drink tea alone, but it was fun for me to share with you. I've enclosed instructions on how to prepare and grow your own tea, no pressure, but if you end up growing some, make sure you bring me a cup, Caroline. The crafting recipe, tea sapling, oh thank you. I don't know how you're doing. Hope the winter hasn't been too hard on you. Anyway, I'm writing, writing to ask you for some hard wood. I need to, um, about 10 pieces. If you've got it, if not, no worries. Take care, Robin. I have. I'll, I'll pop, pop over. Sure. Mm, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh yeah, what about the community construction bundle? 10 hardwood, 99, 99, 99, okay, so I'll take another 10 hardwood, I guess. That's 20, um, then I need a 100 minus 2 wood. I do have some driftwood and some regular trash. Um, and um, and uh, hum, hum. oh, I haven't delivered that. Maybe Gunther wants a pearl, but I don't know if I want to bring my only pearl to Gunther. Not sure if he has deserved it, after all. A slow moving spiny creature that some consider delicacy. Mm hmm. Sorry about that. Yeah, take that. Let's get the blacksmith break it open. Um, hmm. Uh, 
Yeah, why not? Why not? I don't know if I have the capacity. I'm still a bit too early, aren't I? Well, maybe I can do some fish. Ah, but I needed to put these the trash into the recycling machines. Always with the copper. Mm, I guess I can also try and get that done with kind of beautiful music here buying one sardine at three times the market value <laughs> makes Emily happy uh, I have no idea if I have access to any sardines Here's the question, even if I remember Clint's birthday, do I want to celebrate it? Hello, um, the weather is interesting, don't you think? Sorry. <laughs> uh, the weather is not very interesting. Hey, you want this? Oh, hey, no, this is really something. Thanks a million, King. Man, my friends, you are some I've grown to like Pam, I guess. Looks on <laughs> Looks and looks and looks and Okay, here I come clean. Process my geode. Yuck. Good one game. A funny joke. Don't you have work to do? Jesus. Yeah, sorry. Okay, that, that sealed it. I'm not celebrating Clint's birthday. He's not worth it. I mean, this is so... This doesn't even... It's so useless. It's not even worth, I don't think it's even worth, like, taking to the box. Hello. Hey, that's a great ball game, is it? And this might be my favorite day of the week. Still have no idea what Sam likes. Hmm. Um, Robin. Don't say anything, I don't want Dimitris to know that I'm here. Oh, you brought it. I knew. I know I can always count on you. Mm, this wood is perfect, exactly what I needed. My husband almost set the house on fire last night with his science experiment. One of the beakers exploded and set the fireball into the rafters. Thank you. Thank you. I used the fire resistant lacquer when I built the place. Hello. Hey. Sam and I were about to play Solarian Chronicles game. Why don't you join us? It's better with three players anyways. Ah, why not? Okay, here we go. Let me draw a scenario card. Hmm, it looks like today's quest will take us into the Necromancer's Tower to try it and reclaim the Solarian staff from the clutches of Dreadrolls. Sh char Cool, Aaron, are you ready to choose your character? Uh, healer, I prefer to help others. Wizard as our mine is the most powerful play to fall. Uh, 
honestly, I'm I'm not so good at combat. I I usually usually when I begin a game, the first thing I ever do is become a healer because then nobody can say that oh well, you won't you you suck at combat because I'm helping them. Helping is usually easier than hurting some healer. Healer, huh? That's a very important role. I guess I'll pick the wizard then. Cool. What is my type anyway? Let's begin. The king has entrusted you and your companion. Okay, <clears throat> I need a more dramatic voice. After I boil some water. Um, in terms of yoga, I feel like I'm in one of those towns that you heard about, where everybody is very nice, kinda, uh, but they all believe in some sort of weird cult. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> <coughs> Trusted you and your companions with recovering, recovering the Solarian staff. A task which, which, if completed successfully, will ensure your place in the Hall of Legends as well as a sizable fortune of gold and silver. Wait. 
I'm quite that. Okay. <clears throat> After a long month journeying across unforgiving land, you step out onto a precipice and see your destination looming in the distance. There beyond the moonlit plain lies the necromancer's tower where Dreadlord Sarth usurps the power of the stolen Solarian staff for his vile purposes. The tower lies before you. Go in front. Fortune favors the bold. Well, I mean... Uh, there's no point in... like. We can search for a back entrance, and if we don't find one, then we can uh, always come back to the front. I'm usually, I like to find secrets, usually, yeah, search for the back entrance. After searching around the base of the tower, you discover traps us, okay. After searching around the base of the tower, you discover a trap door hidden in a brush. Beneath is a ladder which your party descends. You find... <laughs> Somehow I knew it would say, say you find yourself in... Somehow I guessed it would use the exact phrasing. Okay. You find yourself in a sewer-like corridor to your left. Hallway glows with a peculiar green light. To your right, a staircase lead up into the dark. Enter the hallway on your left. I mean, I want to see what the weird green glowing light is. You are in a room. On your left is a ladder. On your right, three prisoners are floating in strange glowing capsules. They appear to be in the process of some kind of transformation. Could this be some guy? Could this... <clears throat> Could this be... I don't know. Could this be some kind of sixth experiment of the Dreadlord? What do you do? Um... I mean, I'm the healer, right? Destroy the capsules, I say. After putting three poor souls to rest, you and your companions climb the ladder. You've come to a door at the end of a hallway. The time has come to face Dreadlaw Zaft. That was a very quick scenario. Intruders! How dare you trespass in my private chambers! That's how I imagine the digital sound sounds like. Ah! Oh, you've come for the Solarian staff! <laughs> Fools! You'll make a nice addition to my skeleton army! Sorry. Dreadlord Sard cast Shadow Beam. You were able to dodge the spell, but your gra companions are gravely injured. I mean, if we think about it logically here, wouldn't a wizard be able to put some kind of counter spell or a shield or something? I mean, hmm. Yeah, I feel like that's the correct. Thanks. No problem. Oh, well, sorry. Sebastian casts pure ball, though. A beam of white light hits Scott square in the face. The dreadful she can get away. Well, okay. You pick up the Solarian staff and hold it high. Order has been restored to the world. You finish scenario with B rating. I'm sorry. Hey, not bad. Took me like three or four tries to beat my first scenario. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Sam. I didn't know that would be. Mm, I would didn't know that would be final. I I thought it would take a little bit longer to b beat something as bad sounding as Dreadlord. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you later.
Sam, I'm sorry. He didn't even say goodbye. Uh, yeah, I came with you. I, I came to drop this by, just in case. But I think I've already given him. Oh, I really love this. How did you know? I just knew. I built a snow goon, but Demetrius made me get rid of it. Yet Mario's cute little snowman gets unharmed. Ridiculous. I mean, Demetrius. He has something. He has some dark secrets. He's harboring. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna confront her daughter while he is there. I'm not asking to die after all. Um, where was the construction bundle at? No, it wasn't there. Everything's fixed over that. That way. It was. It must have been this, right? I'm actually very close to completing. <laughs> Doop. And a jaboop. And a hiyuk, a yuck. Bundle complete. What is my reward? Charcoal kiln. Turned 10 pieces of wood into one piece of coal. That's not very efficient. That's not very efficient at all. I'm still gonna go to the mines, even even with Oh Robin's request. Thank you, thank you for the money. Okay, uh before I forget I'm gonna finish up my tea. I'm gonna put some honey into it, take the tea bag out, throw it into the compost. Honey, 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 always sunny in the rich man's room. Do -do 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 -do. Honey, 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 always funny in the rich man's room. Oh, do -do -do -do. all the things I could do if I had a little honey. Which I do. In the rich man's world. <laughs> Very well. What's wrong with the snow goon? Come on, have a. Have a. Um, have a heart. I don't know. Sleeping on the ground is. Good for my back. It's the best. To, it's best to look at the positive side of the thing. Um, is it good for your back? Maybe it is actually. I know sleeping on too soft uh, places is not actually very healthy. Humans aren't made for softness and comfort, which is not why we are made to sit for one. We just really enjoy sitting. That's the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Ding, 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 ding. Ghosts, uh, show yourself. on this level. It's my final chance. To get the... I'm very happy to find all of these cords. It will allow me to make a grand farm come spring. 
Of course I will need to find some gold I guess. Ah, nothing, nothing. Useless, useless. You hear me? Oh yeah, I didn't bring anything to eat. <laughs> Maybe that's fine. Slime Rancher. Oh yeah, there's a new Slime Rancher game coming out. Slime Rancher 2. I wonder if it will be as wholesome as the first one. I had some fun playing that. Some fun. No ghosts? Mm. So, so beat young Skywalker. Now you must die. I won't, I won't forget the tea this time. I won't drink cold tea. I have full fat milk this time. Which is much better. Some people probably... Some people probably prefer the tea without milk, but I... I personally don't like it. Well, not full fat milk, okay? I believe full fat. How much milk does just uh, uh, cow's milk uh, nutrients? Eight grams of fat. Is this just the basic? Milk. Okay, so about eight grams, they say. Um, that would mean that. Well, per 100 grams, right? But milk is packed with nutrients. Well, it doesn't say... This doesn't say how much... Health line. What's health line? Manage settings... Uh, disallow... I always take the time to say that no, you don't get to use my data. <laughs> Well, I just disallow. Uh, why are you such a such a little annoying? I already said that you're not allowed. Oh, why do they make this so difficult? Whatever. I'm not using that site then. Um, full fat milk percentage. Um, here, cow milk. <laughs> I I just want to know how much the unprocessed stuff has. Mm.
Oh, okay. So it's a little bit less than it would act. It would actually. <clears throat> it's a little bit less than um, it should actually contain. If it would be truly full fat milk. According to this I'm reading right here, cow's milk has 3.6 to 5.0 percentage points of fat, which means that the 3 3 percent is the country from which I mean from it has apparently approximately 4.4. Yeah, they, they say it right there. <clears throat> uh, the product called fa full full fat uh, full fat milk. Uh, usually twenty percent of the fat is removed. So honestly. <clears throat> I could go for even a higher percentage of fat. Um, skinned milk, mm, it tastes kind of like sugary water. I uh, Usually I liked uh, non-skimmed milk more. But I've learned to like the weird, weird taste that the uh, fatty milk has. It has a, I, I do mean it, it has a weird taste to me. But I, I've, as I said, I, I've learned to like it. Hello, ghosts. Uh, can you wait a minute? No? Well, come on then. You know, I would say the combat is just almost good enough. It's definitely not that great, but it's it's almost there. It's not an by great. I mean, it's good. It's not great. It's oh look at all the toy run. It's in my opinion, it's missing a little bit of little bit of something. Ouch. Oh, you have a little star on your on you. Magnet ring. Well I already have one of those. Oh but this is a better magnet ring. Still the better definitely better than Terraria. I'll say that much. Terraria? I'm sorry. Forager. I haven't even ever played Terraria. I don't know where I got the idea from. <laughs> the the words from. Just, you know, mind went to Terraria. I think Terraria has pretty alright combat even. There's at least plenty of variety on how to do it. Ghost, ghosty, ghosty. Oh, come on then. Oh, stupid bat made me miss the. Come on! We don't have all day here. No, no ectoplasm. Like 
slain gods, so it's extremely rare apparently. Because I've slain quite a few ghosts. And ghosts themselves aren't exactly uh, common. I think it's... I don't know when the wizard closes his tower, but I think it's too late. To... Mm, get to him anymore. Hello, coal monsters. If only you'd leave me alone, I will not have to take you out. Level 105. These guys do a lot more damage than the guys up, up ahead. Here. Hmm. Ooh, an Omni Geode. Can the exit be under um, these large rocks? have to attack me. Ooh, diamonds are forever. <laughs> I said I would sing it when the when the secret Santa thing came up. It's not yet time then. Ouch! Nothing to eat? No. Oh well, let's go back up. Leave the mine! I might be able to get into the adventurer's guild here. I heard there some was some sort of a reward for me. It's locked. Oh, 10 p.m. Hmm. Okay then. Whatever. I thought it was 12 a.m. Bus stop, bus stop, bushy bushy tops, bus stop, 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 Let's sell some garbage. Um, this thing. It's written in Leah's handwriting. My idea for perfect dinner would be salad, goat cheese, truffle, and wine for dessert. Oh no, and truffle and wine. For dessert, I'd need a poppy seed muffin. Yum! If someone gave me one of those things, I'd melt. <laughs> okay. Wonder what it was. But wonder what was the what that um, note was doing inside the cave. Can I place the charcoal kill inside the house? It kind of would make sense. In a way. And why would it make sense? Well, because it would warm up the house, of course. Just imagine that the pipe extends outside the house. Don't think beer at this time. 
So I need to make you wine, eh? Sure, 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 sure. To sleep! Ah, new day. Ooh, I got a ruby. I believe that is the... Uh, I now have two rubies. Do I not? Yes, I do. I have two rubies. I want to see, can I replicate the pearl? Not that I have two rubies. No. Wait, did that say something? No, it didn't say something at the bottom. I just thought it said something. Okay then. Sell the beer. And the... Jelly. No, no, not the geode. I keep that one. Get on up. Mm. I could construct some new sort of buildings. I think I'm gonna get an upgrade for my axe. It still takes a little bit more time than I would like to chop down. And then, then upgrade the... After that, upgrade the pickaxe. And wait, have I have I already donated this thing? Ooh, well, only one way to know. What do I do with the legendary fish? And I have nine earth crystals. Um. Gold, yeah, I was looking for coal. I'm so sorry. Just a constant. What's the pretty tiring for everybody? Okay, let's find all the geodes I have. Um, 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 um. There's some geodes. I'm pretty sure I have clay, some more clay somewhere else. Yes, right here. There we go, I believe so, maybe, I don't know. Maybe so, I don't know. Uh, now then, I guess I'll go ahead and try to forage a bit, or cut down some trees, I don't know. Yuck, 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 yuck. Why do I spread my legs like that whenever I chop something? Whatever, it's the animation. It's just the animation. Man, the screen is kind of bright. I'm gonna change my screen settings here. 
All of these other ones are a little bit too dark. Oh man. Scenery monsters. Ooh. Mm. I change the FPS mode to be a little bit more bright, I guess. Up the contrast? No, that doesn't help. I pause the game. Ash mm. RGB? No, I can't even change literally any of those settings. The cinema mode, raising. Um, I'll the cinema mode, I guess. Ah, no, this is pointless. And why is the monitor going at six? I have a monitor that can support up to one hundred and forty-four FPS. <laughs> It's showing me this 60 frames per... Ah, whatever. I'm not gonna change it in the middle of the recording. It hasn't bothered me so far. Ah, but... What is this? Just... Okay, I'll, I guess I'll change the current one. Uh, 70 brightness. That's a little bit better. Immediately more viewable. Hello, worms. No yam. Clean up the farm here. Do rocks respawn? I don't think so. The three set on the two do. Hello, Kettenberg. Let's check the cave, I guess. Yes, mushrooms, as always. Demetrius is no longer welcome onto my land. I don't want to see him here, anywhere near. Is today somebody's birthday? I don't think so. upgrade the pickaxe first. This is my decision. I'm not gonna upgrade anything if I only have one go go hold hold bar. Huh. Okay then. Ah but alas. Look at that flat cat. Hello Pam, good morning, good morning, Monday morning, you got any hogs on that farm? No. Um, to the town. Hello Clint. Uh, process my geodes. Yup. Something new, he hell of it. That doesn't sound good. That's also new. Orpiment. 
That sounds... That... Isn't that... Wait, why am I so lucky right now? Just... Well, I did have a lemon stone. Okay, then. That's the end of the good luck. Oh, garbage. 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 Ooh, that's something new. Pyrite. Uh, that might be something new, but I don't think so. I'll be back whatever I don't get to donate. Oh, well, yeah, I'll be back. Before I order up the... Donate! Uh, here's some Helvetica stone. Uh, this is whatever. Where did it go? It disappeared! Hello? It must have been... Oh, it's down there. <laughs> Weird. Um, and there's that. And I feel like this is a new roll. Oh. You disappoint me. It doesn't seem like we have anything. Ooh, but not now. I have other business to attend to. Uh, shop. Uh, buy my... That's not a lot. Buy my earth crystals, buy my lemon stone, buy my hermetite. And upgrade my... Pickaxe. Thanks, I'll get started on this as soon as I pop up. Okay, well I can't go mining until that lazy bastard finishes whatever I'm you know, that order. Oh a little further. There we go. Ooh treasure Perch Bait. Tiger trout. What are you? You're you're a wild one. Ah. Okay, I'm not. I'm not concentrating. That shouldn't have been that hard. In, what's that fish? Do we have that fish where I'm from? Um, just a moment. Lingcod. We don't, we so don't have it that we even don't even have a name for the thing. Uh, Lincolnberry. Ah, what was it? Do I remember incorrectly? Have I been called? Oh, it's Cowberry, not Lincolnberry. Ha, <laughs> Cowberry, okay. Sorry about that. Finally, um, finally uh, have rectified this mistake that I made ages past. Sorry, wizard, but ectoplasm is much harder to come up, come by than you would think. I'm putting a little promotion just for fun. If anyone can collect a thousand, then and get to keep the wood. Ooh, well then... Robin's resource rush. Well, I could do that, but I don't know if I want to do that.
Hmm, this is actually kind of... Well, this is more useful in the end. I guess I'll try it. <laughs> chop, chop, okay. <laughs> Just start cutting down the... Uh, a thousand pieces of wood. That will not be easy, but it won't be that hard, I don't think. Oh, well then. Glass shards. An artifact, apparently. Uh, I have one piece of bait. There we go. Uh, here's this and that and that and why not that as well. And I would like to try some fruit soup. Yes, that would be all. Nom nom nom. Got some energy. I wonder if I can throw the fishing line far enough from here. Exactly. Sardine. Was there a person looking for a sardine? Remember. Or was it a hearing? Well, whatever it is or was, I, uh, it's no longer there. Too bad, eh? Eh, 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 Jesus, I'm starting to hate myself. Dried starfish. Dried? Dried starfish? Artifact. Oh, okay, well, I have a good feeling that with this one. Mm. Oh, that's so annoying. I can't, I'm supposed to get to that. I'm, yes, I'm equipping the correct thing, but it's seemingly way too far. Come on, developer, didn't you have any consideration for this mechanic? He was just, oh, well, I'm just gonna throw this in. But half the time you can't even reach the, reach the stuff. Maybe I'm gonna... And in, in Stardew Valley Copper Pan Wait, what? Huh Okay, with copper pan. So do you like upgrade the pan or something? Acquisition use. What's the simmering lights? Randomly appear. Uh, river, lake, or pond accompanied by some falling water in the area can be reached. Approach it. And left click on the shimmering light using the copper. Ah. Aha! That is useful knowledge. Left click. So I need to click the damn thing. Oh, what? Well, doesn't help. Left, left, left click. Hmm. <clears throat> Maybe, to, maybe I need to get a better pan or something that, that can reach farther away or something, I don't know. Uh, 
don't close the damn place. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Don't close it. Don't close it. I'll be mad. Here's my donation. Still no reward. Huh. After all of that. Hello there. You've come to visit me in the... You, well, yeah, kinda. I could do with a respite from the lonely labors. Hmm. We can start panning. No, we can't. Shut up, Willy. Good evening. How are you doing? Another year is almost over. I hope you had a productive year. I could have had a more productive year. Hello, you two. Good evening, ladies. Me lady. Tips hat. If you want to play a cruel joke on my mother, give her an octopus. She might not forgive you, though. Did you see the snowman I built? Yes, I did. Apparently, your br half brother built a snow goon, but. That wasn't allowed. Favoritism, eh? Robin resource rush. I bet I can get in. Yep, it's locked. Lock the door behind him. Makes sense though. Who doesn't lock their door? Expect, expect if you live in a certain valley. Not this valley though. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Some people think sneezing is cute. I don't know what to think of those people. But hey, if it helps me get more people to watch the video, <laughs> I'll sneeze all day. Well, no, no, I won't. I'm pretty sure sneezing isn't exactly healthy either. So then again, I'm. I've heard that not sneezing isn't very healthy either. Best would be if you would never have the feeling to sneeze. I wonder why the ocean hasn't frozen over. Or the lakes, for that matter. Probably because they want to keep the fishing mechanism. I mean, you will technically get a, like, drill a hole in the ice. Uh, I don't know what that is called in English, where you drill a hole in the ice and just sit there on the frozen lake or sea and wait from some wait from some wait, wait for some uh, half asleep fish to bite uh, here's an interesting fact factoid uh, over here where I live there in some parts of fresh waters there are fish that live under the ice for the winter 
Well, they don't hibernate, but they become extremely slow. And um, what happened? I believe there's no yes. The oxygen runs run 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 runs runs out runs out. Uh, Oh, come on. <laughs> I didn't do that very well. The oxygen ra runs out under the water. And... Um... The oxygen run uh, runs out under the water and... The fish that live under the ice, which from uh, producing energy via the same way that everybody else does it, into producing energy by... I would have to google the word for that. I'm gonna google the word for that. Fermentation. So they produce alcohol in their body, and that way they can also, and, and as a byproduct, they produce energy. The fish become extremely sluggish. They're called drunk fish, I believe. <laughs> One of the name for them is that at least. I don't believe that's the scientific name. Isn't that interesting? Basically, uh, the same thing happens in your muscles when you run or use them too much and they don't get enough oxygen. Uh, the muscles will start producing energy via uh, fermentation reactions instead of uh, burning. Because burning requires oxygen. Hello, Willy. So isn't that interesting? Well, hello. Okay. Run, run, run. Hello, Emily. Be careful, the article doesn't fall on your head. Is that a threat? Threat? <laughs> oh, don't get stuck on the wooden post. Uh, but the human is quite a bit too complex to sustain themselves uh, via that. And it's not exactly good for you either, I believe. Did you see that owl? I'm gonna fall asleep. I'm so gonna fall asleep before I get to bed. Oh! Look at that. One thousand five hundred sixty gold. 